Hello everyone, this is Neuronium joined with Kamala. And welcome to my 3DS Whoa. screen, where we're gonna be playing Sonic the Hedgehog 2 3D. Um so this was originally a live stream a couple of days ago at the time of this recording, where I just was laying on my couch and recording my 3DS. And I ended up live streaming this with no commentary. So I figured, okay, why don't we do commentary over it? Because the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 playthrough on this channel is over eight years old. Damn, I watched that when I was new. Yeah, it's old. So you have a bunch of different modes in Sonic 2 3D. Um... I don't turn on the 3D mode for it. The main reason is no capture card really captures the actual 3D software inputs. It just shifts the screen slightly over. <laughs> so I decided to opt against doing that. Instead, just going into this one with a mode called Ring Keeper Mode. Basically, Whenever you get hit, you don't lose all your range. You only lose half of your range. Which, in hindsight, I probably should have just kept it default standard, but hey, Metropolis Zone sucks. I kind of like that function. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's a really good function. So a little bit of history behind the 3D line. Sega during the 3DS era ended up making a few games compatible with the Nintendo 3DS in a way that when you would use the 3D slider, it would pop out the background. Uh, they released in Japan, they released it inside of a compilation together, but we, I don't think ever got it in the States. I think Europe might have gotten it but I'm not entirely certain. Instead, they sold them piecemeal here in the States, uh, digitally only. So the only two Sonic games that got this treatment out of the classic Genesis line were Sonic the Hedgehog 1 and 2 on the Genesis. Damn, shout to the classics. Yeah. Rest in peace, 3. I mean, 3 and Knuckles has always been an anomaly. Which kind of stings because I really like Korean Knuckles. But I'll always yeah, love Sonic like... 2 because it was my first ever video game. Bless. I'm trying to get inside the little hole because I know there's a lot of life in there. I mean the hole. I won't go in the hole. Fine. No hole. Now, I don't go after the Chaos Emeralds again in this run. Save for two. Here's one of them that we go after. And there's two reasons why I generally don't go after the Chaos Emeralds in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. First off, Tails. Just, just Tails. He ruined everything. Yeah, he, <laughs> he's a bit of a nuisance. And I didn't turn him off. And when I got in here, that's when I realized, oh, hey, I don't have... Uh, tails off. Oh no. Why is he <laughs> here to, to ruin your day? Yeah, he's here to ruin my day and my Chaos Emerald run. Not that it really matters because Sonic the Hedgehog 2 3 actually has an added little feature that it does, which is interesting. It Ooh. gives you supersonic as a playable mode where you just have supersonic right away and start with oh. 50 rings once you beat the main game. That's cool. Yeah. Bit powerful. Yeah. So, here's the first Chaos Emerald, one of the only two we get. And how do you know this is 60 frames per second? Well, on my end, uh, the Chaos Emerald is actually blinking and not solid. Let's look at it. Alright, 
So let's write Robotnik. Look at him, man. Back when he used vehicles. Back when he used his vehicles and me. Get a load of these. There we go. There we go. The amount of times I played Emerald Hill as a kid were innumerable. No, for real. I never got past the uh, chemical plug, so like I basically only ever did like Emerald Emerald Hill every time I played this game. See, the farthest I would go as a kid. Because I didn't beat Sonic 2 as a kid. It was too hard for me. Uh, farthest I ever got when I was really young was Oil Ocean. Oh. Yeah. It really wasn't until the original playthrough on this channel eight years ago that I really was able to beat Sonic 2 entirely. But then again, I hadn't tried for like quite a number of years. Yeah. Yeah, I, I never got past really any of the the second at, uh, worlds in in Classic Sonic when I was younger because I had a, a Mega Drive uh, and all three of the games, not and Knuckles, just regular Sonic Three. But yeah, you, I did wait, later no, get. I mean, that, that's like that's good because that means you get the Michael Jackson soundtrack, but it's also bad because you miss out on like half the game. I did. <laughs> I did later get the Mega Sega Mega Collection uh, thing, which does just have a Sonic. Uh, it's called Sonic and Knuckles, not Sonic Three and Knuckles. <laughs> Sonic and Knuckles. Yeah, uh, Sonic and Knuckles is its own game. Yeah. You had and to yeah, do I still never got past technology. To do it. Never got past my Knuckles. <laughs> These well, games are hard, yo. Yeah, I mean they can be if you don't know what you're doing. I yeah. find that Sonic 2 is way more refined than Sonic 1. It's way faster. Which I uh, fun fact. Originally, earlier in the day, when this live stream was done, I ended up just turning on my 3DS and like, eh, play Sonic 2, why not? I clipped through the wall in Chemical Plant Act 2 and could not continue unless I were to reset or die. So I was like very nervous when I was in the sand. <laughs> okay, game's a little bit shaky. I mean, it, you... it was a not too many glitches on this one, but I will admit that that one caught me off guard. So I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Never before seen. Alright, so here I'm like, okay, why don't we go after another Chaos Emerald? Here is where Tails will get in our way. Bless. The lad. He's trying his best. He's delayed by a second, based on my input. He is not trying his best, he's being annoying. That's <laughs> what you get for having an eight-year-old follow you around. <laughs> Probably younger at this point. He's following me, and I'm trying to lose him, but he's just as fast as me! And he can fly! <laughs> yeah, that would help. So, and he can swim. He can and he swim. Oh my lord, Tails. Oh, that was awful! <laughs> that was like a deer in the headlight moment. Tails! Oh! Yeah, no, you'd think because he's slightly behind you that, like, he should still be perfectly in sync with, like, dodging things, but no, he's just too delayed. Yeah, he's too delayed. Now, luckily, I think Sonic... In the original Sonic 2, if I remember correctly, Tails ends up... You can lose rings from Tails. Oh, that was me. That was part of you. Six rings short. Unfortunate. It's right, it's right there. Just grab it, Sonic. <laughs> no, the rules are the rules. I don't care about the rules. I want to be supersonic and then cry in Wing Fortress Zone. 
<laughs> Seriously, that is the main reason why I do not get the Chaos Emeralds in this game. Super Sonic's too unwieldy in Wing yeah. Fortress Zone. Like, it, it actually terrifies me whenever I am Super Sonic in Wing Fortress Zone. It's just like playing SA1. It feels very unsafe. It's the most accurate! <laughs> oh, Tails dead. Oh, bye Tails. Oh, he's back. I do love that. It's a good death sound. I know, it is. So yeah, Sonic 2 was my first ever video game. Do you happen to remember what yours was? My first game was Pokemon Stadium. Pokemon Stadium? One or two? Yeah. Uh, first one. Never actually owned the second one. I did play it a bit because my friend had it, but I uh, never had it myself. Uh, but I remember Pokemon State because uh, I can't quite remember how old it was, but I was like in early school years. But I was like so early enough that I was able to lie to my mom that I was sick, so she would let me off <laughs> with no questions. And that's how I remember playing Pokemon Stadium. <laughs> nice. Did you ever do the connection oh. with uh, Red? Blue and yellow. Yes, that's actually how I played uh, Pokemon Yellow for uh, proper. Like that was essentially my first cool Pokemon game as Yellow, I say. Uh, which is how I almost beat it. Never quite beat the Elite Four. I got close though. But you probably should have just like tunnel vision one Pokemon to be your best. Doug oh. Trio got destroyed by the War Ice user. Oh no, Lorelei. Ah, the second boss. The fun one where you just constantly bounce on him. Oh, he actually got an that attack on That is kind of fun when it works. Oh, flip. God, I do like his battle music. I got that. Yeah, There's no, a this, I like this battle music more than the one. I like the mini boss music from Sonic 3. But I like um, the main boss music for this game more. And now for actually, Woo! also, uh, I love this stage. Yeah, I've never saw this as a, uh, until basically you played it, actually. Now it's the first experience with, uh, with anything beyond Chemical Plant Zone. Ah, and yeah, this place, I love the music. Yeah, the music is great. And it looks I, great. It looks great, the music's great, and honestly, I prefer it over a Hydrocity. Yes, I call it Hydrocity. <laughs> Don't worry, but I could hide see you. Like yeah, it's kind of like a the the criminal virus, like the Marvel Hill Zone from the first game, kind of without the lava. Yeah, I guess. And so less, it's not as slow. Yeah, it's also not as slow unless you go underwater. Uh, yeah, yeah. Forgot about war. They replace uh, the lava with water. It is a, a low invariant, if you will. Nope. Oh, already done with the first stage. And that was fast. Yep. Please free this, don't you? Got down. Yeah. For this episode, we're just gonna stop after we finish, I believe. Sino Nighton? Oh, I don't quite remember where it is, but. <laughs> Water is scary. Water well, is indeed scary. Was that flipping grounder? Yeah. Was, I don't know which one's which. Yeah, no, that's grounder. That's, <laughs> that's where grounder comes from. It comes from Sonic 2. I did not know that. I thought he and uh, Scratch were like completely original. No, uh, Scratch oh, is hey, supposed you to be a clucker from Wing Fortress. Oh, okay. Damn, shout out to those two random enemies of all things getting. Oh yes, I remember him! And I always like because I just like the, the monkey dudes. They were like my favorite Sonic enemy. Yeah, Coconuts is the monkey from the first level. Mm-hmm. Are they also the same ones that you can get in like actual bad nicks in SA2? I think No no no, those are kids. Ah. Close enough. The, the, the monkeys. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. 
Yeah, no, for real. Whoa, it's really was just a garbage mechanic in games. It really is, and this this music just terrifies me, especially because it's like waiting, no, waiting, waiting. No, for real, if panic inducing. <laughs> That's fighter was like last minute you got that air bubble too. I know, that's why I was so terrified. Now on up. I didn't win. Like surprisingly, with how often Sonic 2 is ported to like everything, this one is pretty confident. Uh M2, the developer of this port, did a really good job. I thought you were going to die, not going to lie. Yeah, but shout out to them. I was going to ask how, like, is it, like, kind of, like, like, it can get you as far as, like, ports concerned? No, this is actually a pretty good port. I'm not going to lie. This is a <laughs> very good port of Sonic 2. Damn, we've been on the wall for time. Yeah, we... Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> we're finally free. We <laughs> finally can breathe. Fight Robotnik with a comically sized hammer. I love comically sized hammers. Oh, is that the basis for Amy's, I guess? Because it's just the same color scheme? I, you know, I didn't think about that. It kind of looks like it. You're right. Different. I mean, Sonic CD was technically developed before Sonic 2. Sonic 2 was still in Oh! Did she have a hammer back then? No. Yeah. Damn, showers. We're we using asset, let's go. <laughs> you always not even the same asset. I mean, it helps save on time, so. Yeah. Plus also this was developed by Sega Technical Institute, so. The original Sonic that is. Yeah. I mean, you know, if uh, Majora's Mask and Fallout New Vegas is anything to go by, uh, reusing assets apparently just makes a better game. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Alright. Casino Night Zone. Ooh, hey. <laughs> so you can stop obligatory uh, casino level. They actually didn't know. They used to do casinos back in before they did games. A lot of them did. Konami still technically does do casino stuff. Did <laughs> they? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's interesting how a lot of like the Japanese game devs are, like came from a completely different background originally before games were a thing. I missed the shield. Unfortunate. Right. And now for momentum! Can he play the game? Uh, can Tails play the game? <laughs> the, the, the block machines. Yes, he can. If he lands in it, um, it will go off. <laughs> Does he lose you money? He can. If you have <laughs> a second controller connected in, because you can oh. do that with uh, Tails in Sonic 2, mm -hmm. uh, that could actually lose you money. Like, he is trying his best. <laughs> Can you do co-op in this? <clears throat> no, there is no co-op mode in this one. Yeah, it's a DS game. Well, I mean, yeah, they could have done, like, oh done DS download play, but I think that would have been too annoying to do. Mm -hmm. So they probably decided to get it. Yeah. When did this come out? Uh, the no. DS port. The DS port or the this 3DS port? 3DS port. Let me check. I don't remember. I want to say it was around 2016. Okay, interesting. No, I don't want to know when Sonic the Hedgehog's initial release was made. 3D Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, I guess it's called 3D Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, 3D Sonic. <laughs> it never this came ain't to Sonic Jam. Wait, when in Europe? It never came to Europe. 
Oh, okay. Damn. I mean, I guess... Screw us, I guess. That's actually very surprising. Damn. Shout out to Tails the name just being passed in the background. Does he own this place? Clearly. Yeah, huh. that's interesting. I always thought that this was an international release, because you can play the international version of um, Sonic 2, actually. So that's the version we're playing. There's the Rev 1, which is the Japanese original, and then there's the Rev... Well, there's Rev 0, which is the Japanese original, and then there's Rev 1. Which is what we're okay. playing. We're, pl we're playing the international one that was... This is the version that international audience got. Yeah. What are the major differences besides the language? <laughs> uh, I think just general, like, Japanese version is harder, sort of crud. Mm. Yeah. I forgot that was a trend. <laughs> yeah, Mega Man kind of popular. Damn, imagine Souls likes were made released back then. <laughs> uh. And at least this version of the game didn't need any patches or anything. Mm. Let's be honest with how games are nowadays. Yeah. Okay, you Sonic Origins. <laughs> I'm still upset that for Sonic Origins they took down the original PC ports that most of the mods were built on. Yeah, that is, that's sad. Luckily, I still have those ones, so Steam recognizes those for me. Yeah, that's cool. Right. Why would you get rid of them? It's because why they're saying it, so then it's like, so then you have to buy the Origin version. <laughs> It's garbage. It is garbage. Like, no, it is garbage. They did the same thing for another game. I think it did the same thing for another game. I'm trying to remember which one it was. They're not funny. It might have been another Sonic. Mm. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> Go to the nightmare scenarios. <laughs> Well the boy tailed. is still stuck. Yeah, the boy is still <laughs> stuck. He's in purgatory. He's trying his best. What stinks is it doesn't even get you points. I know, that is sad. I was actually looking and saying, yo, oh. That's something that... He can lose you money, but he can't gain you anything. Well, I think in the original version, he could lose you money. I, d I don't think he can in this version. Yeah, bless. They can lose you flipping an emerald. Yeah, he can still do that. Because he stinks. Alright. I've always, like, had canon that Sonic was, like, 10 in this, since, you know, it's canon age was 15 or so. And I've always imagined the classic games, he was, like, 10. Because he looks kind of cute compared to old modern in Generations. Makes sense. I mean, I think Sega regrets doing ages for them. Because mm -hmm. they don't even, like... It really? don't make sense. They Rouge really... is not 18, bro. Big's 21. <laughs> no, wait, no. Big's 18. Vector's 21. Vector being an adult makes sense, but like 21 is too young for what that man looks like. Fair enough. That man looks like he at least made some bad decisions in his life. 21's not old enough to make bad decisions. He's made bad decisions in his life. He clearly went to school and, does, and now has to pay back his loans. That's why they have a hard time paying the rent. We have a detective agency that does not make him enough money. Sounds like modern stuff. Oh, that... Anyway, everyone, we're going to end off this first episode right here. This has been Neuronium. And come on. And we'll see you in the next episode for some more zones, starting with Hilt Up Zone. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. 
If you want to check out more classic Sonic action, check out the top link for a playthrough of Sonic CD on the PlayStation 3. And if Modern Sonic is more of your taste, why don't you check out the bottom link for a playthrough of Sonic Heroes played on the Nintendo GameCube.